the key challenge is can you outsmart thermodynamics? And, and it turns out you can uh, if you are smart enough. But uh, you have to be very smart to fool Mother Nature. I was born in a district called Kanpur in northern India. Uh, in India, the, at that time, they didn't know enough about America. Although I kept telling them that, look, Americans have put men on the moon. They are one of the smartest people in the world. I, I think I would like to go to America. My goal was to learn as much as possible because I was so excited. I, I, I thought God has given me this tremendous opportunity and I don't want to waste a second of it. That was my motto uh, on my desk. I finished masters in about nine months and, and then I had published so many papers, uh, about a dozen papers in the journal that uh, they, they relented and gave a PhD in, uh, next year, which is absolutely amazing record. Even today, nobody can touch it by long shot. I was a group leader and a senior scientist at Oak Ridge National Lab and uh, very happy. But when I came to North Carolina, it, something clicked. It reminded me my hometown, it, it was not too big. Uh, you know, not too small, it's just right. And, uh, uh, and I like the visionary aspect of, uh, of the uh, progressive aspect of the state, uh, you know, which, which really impressed me, that they valued education, uh, they valued science, they valued uh, uh, research. See, Mother Nature, thermodynamics is the Mother Nature, which puts defects in these materials, which make these materials less efficient. When you make, you shrink the units, like 100,000 atoms, then defects get kicked out because it becomes too uncomfortable for them. So you can then realize the property of a perfect material in a small system. This very high power laser comes in. The power of this laser is close to 100 megawatts. That means 10 nuclear reactors put together. But luckily, it lasts only for 100 nanoseconds. During that 100 nanoseconds, it can do a lot of very interesting things which are not allowed by thermodynamics. That means it can create new materials and you can deposit those new materials which have very unique properties. So when I teach my students uh, and mentor them uh, for research, I want to look at creating new research innovations. You didn't see any uh, twin boundary. America lives on innovations. That's only way to keep us on the top. Science innovations are key to technology, which is key to manufacturing and keeping our jobs here. When you are having fun, it's not like work. See, this is very critical. So I, I don't feel like I, I'm working, you know. When I come even the weekends, people think, you're working in the weekends? I said, I'm here on vacation. 